the tragic story of Blue Blood star Len Cariou's wife. Blue Blood's actor Len Cariou enjoys a beautiful marriage with his wife Heather Summerhays Cariou, who suffered a tragic family loss that changed her life forever. Len Cariou is a Canadian actor and stage director best known for playing Sweeney Todd in the original cast of Sweeney Todd, The Demon Barber of Fleet Street. He won a Tony Award for Best Actor in a Musical for his role in the film. Len is also famous for portraying the patriarch Henry Reagan, retired NYPD police commissioner, in the generational TV series Blue Bloods. Born on September 30, 1939, Len has Broadway acting credits for his roles in these productions. Dance a Little Closer in 1983. Teddy and Alice in 1987, The Speed of Darkness in 1991, The Dinner Party in 2000, Proof in 2002. Besides acting, he also directed the 1975 Broadway show Don't Call Back. In 2018, Lynn produced and starred in a one-man show titled Broadway and the Bard An Evening of Shakespeare and Song. In 2019, Lynn began starring in George Eastman's off-Broadway play Harry Townsend's Last Stand, which is about life's final stretch and the wrenching decisions that come with it. The show starred Lynn alongside Craig Bierko, who played his son. However, after Bierko's run on the show ended and producers replaced him with David Lansbury, it was reported that Lynn refused to rehearse with the replacement. His actions caused the show to close prematurely. Fortunately, cooler heads prevailed, and the legendary theater star agreed to return to filming. There is no denying that Len loves the theater and his career. It was visible to the eyes during his interview with Garrett Wynne Davies in which he discussed his career in Stratford, on Broadway, and beyond. Len also spoke at BroadwayCon 2020 and talked about some of his career experiences and some of the people he has worked with. A video of his debut at 54 Below in 2012 is available on Sandy Durrell's Theatre Pizzazz YouTube page. The incredible performance, which saw him recount his remarkable career in story and song, was enough evidence that Len is indeed Broadway royalty. However, despite his laudable career achievements, there is nothing more precious to Len than his relationship with his wife, Heather Summerhays Cariou. Len and Heather tied the knot on October 25, 1986, and have been going strong since then. The marriage was not his first, as he was previously married to Susan Barbara Capolo and Patricia Otter. Len and Heather have a beautiful love story with a tragic background. Heather was only six years old when her younger sister, Pam, then four years old, was diagnosed with cystic fibrosis and given only months to live. Little Pam pronounced her disease as 65 roses. Her diagnosis forever altered her parents' and siblings' lives, but they, in turn, helped to change the way their community responded to the disease by setting up the Canadian Cystic Fibrosis Foundation. With the foundation's help, efforts were made to save Pam's life. These efforts included research and new treatments, and the battle to save her life lasted for years. Unfortunately, Pam died at 26. Heather continues to speak and write about her sister and tell her beautiful story. She authored the memoir 65 Roses, a sister's memoir, which offered a compassionate yet unflinching first-hand account of her family's hope, pain, and courage as they endured Pam's suffering. The heart of Heather's memoir explored her relationship with her sister as they journeyed through childhood, adolescence, and young adulthood. Pam's final moments were spent instructing her sister on what to do after she died. While struggling for breath, she urged Heather to tell the world what they lived through together. Heather agreed to do just that, but her words were not enough for Pam as she asked her to promise. Heather promised her dying sister she would tell their story. Immediately she did so, Pam died. It took Heather over two decades to fulfill the promise she made to her sister. She spent most of those years struggling to come to terms with life after Pam's death. Heather met Len after her sister's death, 
He was working at the Stratford Festival and met her through a mutual friend. But then, she was not interested in dating anyone. Also, Len was dating actress Glenn Close at the time. When he met Heather, he asked her to tell him something about herself. She told him she lost her sister about six months ago, got divorced four months ago, and was going on a white water rafting trip in Oregon even though she could not swim. After hearing Heather's words, Lynn told her to call him if she ever got back from her trip, and she did. When she called him, he had already ended his relationship. They started dating and have been together ever since. In 1983, Heather went to New York to be with Lynn even though she could not work in the U.S. She talked to him about her promise to Pam and confessed that she was terrified about writing. He kept to his word and bought her an IBM Selectric and some paper. The book took 20 years to complete. At the start of the writing journey, she met her mentor and writing coach June Gould at a workshop. 